He is the ultimate alpha male, or at least he'd like the world to believe that. Vladimir Putin, always presenting himself as the picture of strength, often shirtless, captured hunting, or taking a submarine down deep in the Black Sea. Putin was born in October 1952 in what is now St. Petersburg. In 1975, he joined the KGB as an intelligence officer. In 1999, then-President Boris Yeltsin appointed Putin prime minister. In 2000, Putin was elected president of Russia. At the time, even President George Bush was impressed, though it didn't last. I found it to be very straightforward and trustworthy. Putin was re-elected in 2004. By 2008, he'd reached the term limit under Russia's constitution, so he got creative and switched jobs with then Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. So Medvedev was elected president of Russia and named Putin as prime minister, a move that raised questions about how much power Medvedev really had. In office, Medvedev changed the constitution, extending presidential terms from four years to six years before Putin was re-elected president again in 2012. Putin has ruled Russia for more than two decades, and his power is undeniable. He escalated the war in Chechnya, invaded Ukraine, and his government allegedly interfered in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, though he's denied that. He also allegedly had a hand in disposing of his critics, like former Russian spy Alexander Litvinenko, who died weeks after drinking a cup of poison lace tea. Litvinenko blamed Putin. The Kremlin denied his involvement. Still, Putin won his last election in 2018 with more than 76 percent of the vote. His critics have slammed the election as unfair, citing tight control over the media and election monitors. Some critics have suggested Putin has used his reign not to better the lives of the Russian people, but to enrich himself through theft and corruption. Bill Browder, who once invested heavily in Russia, is now one of Vladimir Putin's toughest critics. I mean, estimate his net worth, 200 billion. Exact details about Putin's wealth are hard to come by. These photos from inside one of Putin's lavish homes were shared with CNN by an independent Russian journalist who left the country. And this man loves gold maniacally, and he loves his rich life very much. Putin also likes to keep his private life private. But news of his longtime mistress, with whom he reportedly has children, has made headlines. These are pictures of Putin with Alina Kabeva, a former Olympic gymnast who is about 30 years younger than Putin. She and Putin met more than a decade ago, but are rarely seen together. Russia has a long and rich experience. Despite his grip on power now suddenly in question, Putin is expected to rule at least until 2024, when at age 71, he will end his fourth presidential term. However, he signed legislation in 2021 that would allow him to run for two more terms, which could mean he may be in office until 2036. Randy Kay, CNN.